Stage prop is go for flight. SpaceX recently tested their Starship SN8 and SN9 prototypes. These will eventually be fully reusable vehicles that transport both cargo and passengers on long duration interplanetary flights that will take us to the Moon, Mars and beyond. Both rockets launched successfully but exploded during attempted landings. After the explosions, people picked up their digital pitchforks and came after SpaceX for wasting money that should have been spent on eliminating poverty, feeding the hungry, solving homelessness, etc. Many believe that instead of finding water on Mars, we should prepare for the inevitable global water crisis here on Earth. The needs of humanity should come first, not space exploration. I understand that reaction, but it ignores the fact that space exploration has directly or indirectly affected every person on Earth since the 1950s. Aeronautics and space research are responsible for bleeding-edge science, technology, and engineering. Their inventions and discoveries eventually trickle down to civilian applications. NASA has an incredible interactive website called Home and City, which showcases a few everyday products that are the result of space exploration. In a typical bedroom, we can find flexible aerogel jackets, phase change materials, improved footwear, air purifiers, LED bulbs, etc., all thanks to NASA research. We have also benefited from optimized home design, thermal components, energy use sensors, reflective insulation, and advanced solar panel designs. At the scale of a city, NASA research has helped in crop forecasts, fertilizer for fields, hydroponics, refrigeration, and food safety. Manufacturing industries use chemical detection, AI for package handling, insulating foam, large inexpensive 3D printers, improved welding, etc. The medical field has also seen the benefits of space exploration, especially with artificial limbs and anti-gravity treadmills. You should definitely check out that website, I'll link it in the description below. In this video, we're going to discuss five everyday products used in building construction that came from space exploration. The first invention is a shock absorber. Umbilicals are bundles of cords and tubes that deliver liquid hydrogen fuel, gases, electric power, and signals to the spacecraft. These umbilicals are attached to the rocket with pyro bolts or fasteners that immediately sever once liftoff is underway. To prevent these arms from suddenly swinging into the spacecraft, shock isolation systems or dampeners were invented. The dampeners are pumps filled with hydraulic fluids. It converts kinetic energy of the shock impulse into heat, which is then dissipated. This invention was modified and used for buildings in earthquake-prone regions like San Francisco, Taiwan, and Tokyo. The second are power tools. NASA teamed up with Black & Decker to develop motors and batteries needed for cordless hand tools that could operate in the airless, weightless environments of space. For the Apollo missions, a special hammering rock drill was developed for astronauts to collect rock samples on the Moon's surface. Using this technology, Black & Decker developed the Dust Buster in the 1970s, a handheld vacuum cleaner with a lightweight, high-speed motor. The third is fireproof clothing. On January 27, 1967, a flash fire occurred in the Apollo 1 command module during a launch pad test, killing three astronauts. In response, NASA teamed up with Salonese Corp to develop a synthetic fiber called polybenzamidazole or PBI. This flexible fiber has exceptional thermal and chemical stability. It does not burn, melt or emit toxic fumes. PBI is used to make firefighters gear, astronauts spacesuits and aircraft wall fabrics. It is also used to make welders gloves and gear that can withstand temperatures up to a thousand degrees Fahrenheit. The fourth are miniature, inexpensive digital cameras. An engineer at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory developed the CMOS sensor in 1995, a photographic chip that is used on robotic space probes to take thousands of pictures every day. CMOS stands for Complementary Metal Oxide Semiconductor. 
This space camera innovation then led to the creation of smaller, cheaper imaging chips for smartphones, sports cameras, webcams, compact digital and DSLR cameras. Lastly, aerogels. If you haven't watched my video on aerogels, I'll link it up here. Aerogels are thin, lightweight, translucent materials made by removing all the liquid in a gel and replacing it with air. It is actually made up of 98% air, which makes it an excellent insulator. In 1992, NASA contracted Aspen Technologies to develop aerogel fabrics for thermal insulation material. Aerogel is used in the heat shields of spacecraft and in the astronauts' spacesuits. It has trickled down to consumer goods like Prima Loft jackets, gloves, and boot insoles. Cryogel blankets are used to wrap pipes in extremely cold applications, pyrogel blankets are used in very hot environments, and space loft blankets are used as building insulation. These are just few of the products used in the construction industry thanks to space exploration. It's obvious that it can benefit every single human being and it can even help solve energy, environment, resource and population problems. Space exploration benefits humanity as a whole. Anyway, it's highly likely that if we stop space exploration, the government will just divert the funds to military spending instead of healthcare and education. I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, I'll link my Patreon page and the NASA website in the description. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See ya.